What exactly is Zoom bombing? Zoom bombing is where somebody either guesses or goes to a common URL for a Zoom call with the intent of listening in, gathering information, or being downright disruptive. So for example, my company has a zoom.com slash secure anchor Zoom channel. So prior to all of this, when we would set up meetings with clients or other folks, just to make it easy for them, I would say, just go to Zoom Secure Anchor. It was just, they put in Secure Anchor, the channel was easy, it was set up. While that's convenient, that's very dangerous. We've seen a lot of cyber criminals trying to steal intellectual property, just going in throughout the day and just trying random channels. Like they would go into Zoom and they would try a channel for IBM or they try a channel for Microsoft or CBS or those. And the idea was they were hoping that a meeting was going on, that it was a large number of attendees that nobody was tracking or paying attention to, and they could just sort of sneak in. They could just sort of lurk in the background and listen in and gather very sensitive corporate information that they could potentially use for corporate espionage. So that's sort of one level. The other level that we're seeing with Zoom calls is you're seeing this with large public gatherings. Churches and other big meetings, they're going out on their social media and on their website saying, hey, we can't meet in a physical church, so here's our Zoom link. And they're actually giving the link publicly away. And then what's happening is people are joining in and in the middle of the service, they're posting inappropriate or very offensive comments, and they're just trying to basically do different forms of interruption, cyberbullying, and just be disruptive and interrupt the call. So let's get in to how to protect against Zoom bombing. How do you protect against somebody targeting or going after your calls? One very important concept, you are a target. This is so critical because I've had many clients Go, Eric, we've been Zoom bombed. And the reason I didn't pay attention to your advice is I didn't think anyone would come after us. I'm a small little business or I'm a church or I'm a local this or a local that. Who's gonna bother coming after me? And why should I worry about that? Today's attackers are going after everyone. So you're not too small, you're not too tiny, you're not too unique. If you are utilizing Zoom, you need to recognize that you are a target and take this seriously. Second, cybersecurity is your responsibility. I hear a lot of people go, well, Zoom should lock it down. Zoom should make it secure, blah. You know something? They don't. Accept it, they give you the security settings, but they're expecting you to configure and set it up correctly. So spend the five minutes and make sure that you're setting up and running your calls correctly. So let's start with some general advice on how to protect yourself from Zoom bombing. First and foremost, make sure any software that you're running is up to date and the latest version. If you're running outdated or unsupported software, the attackers have known ways and known exposures in order to break in to that system and exploit it. So three areas, make sure your operating system is up to date. I know many people prior to the coronavirus and working from home, they might have had an older computer at their house, because let's face it, most people are at work most of the time and in the evening you're chilling out, so you might have had an older system that's running a Windows 7 or maybe even an XP that's out of date and those are no longer supported by Microsoft, but you're like, I use it for 20, 30 minutes, I just surf the web, it's not really a big deal, it's not really an issue. Once again, I don't agree with that but that's your risk decision. However, now that you're working from home, eight, 10, 12 hours, that's not acceptable. And attackers are gonna target and go after you. So make sure your operating system is up to date and fully supported. Next, make sure your application. This is focused on Zoom bombing, but what I'm teaching you here can really apply to any video conferencing any software, any systems that you're utilizing. So make sure your Zoom software is up to date and working correctly. One little hint on that. If you haven't used Zoom in a while, 
make sure you log in 10 minutes before your call because I've had some people where two minutes before the call, they try to start up Zoom and Zoom needs to update and that could take three to five minutes in order to do that. So you wanna make sure that you test your software, it's updated, it's fully patched. Finally, because you're doing a lot from your home system and a lot of the traditional security defenses that your company run is no longer in place, now that you're sitting at your house, make sure you have up-to-date antivirus software. Once again, I don't care which vendor, I know they sometimes get mad at me because they say they're all similar, but they really are in terms of how they work. Just pick your favorite vendor and install the full endpoint security suite and make sure that's fully up to date. Next, don't go in and post public links. You don't wanna go in and make everyone aware, everyone know what's going on. Keep those links private, treat them like passwords. And if somebody sends you a link to a meeting and you don't know who they are, don't click on it. I actually had one of my friends, a pretty big executive at a Fortune 50 company, actually fell for this a few days ago. He got an email that came from a very large company that said, hey, here's the information for our upcoming call. Please click on this in order to join the meeting. Now, he didn't check his schedule. He didn't check with his executive assistant, but he's like, okay, I must have a meeting. It must be valid. The, the company name was a big, well-known name. He clicks on it and boom. One click, not two, not three, but one click is all it takes and his system was compromised and he had issues. So make sure you're very careful. If you're getting any Zoom links or anyone trying to invite you to meetings, verify, validate, and make sure it is a real meeting. So just summarizing the first step, general advice to avoid Zoom bombing, update all your software, make sure your operating system is up to date, your Zoom software, your antivirus, don't post public links and don't go in and click on links that you're not sure about. And then finally, remember, as more and more people are working from home, attackers are evil, attackers are immoral, and attackers are gonna target you. We no longer live in this nice world, so recognize you're gonna be targeted and don't assume that only people that are supposed to be in the meeting are gonna join your meeting. We're seeing a lot of people zoom up. So take the advice that I learned when I was at the CIA. Admit nothing, deny everything, and make counter accusations, right? Recognize that people are going to target you and be super careful. Whether it's Zoom or any other software, make sure you spend the time in order to lock down and protect your environment. Once again, I hope this was helpful. I am Dr. Eric Cole from Secure Anchor Consulting. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything that we can do to help your organization during these crazy, crazy times, please contact us. You can go to our website, secure-anchor.com. And if you'd like one of our timely resources on working from home in a secure manner, you can go to secureanchor.com slash cyberguide.